This is Dabu7 with a heads up in regards to nuclear waste that is about to be shipped on U.S. roadways. Over here, iCitizens, they have a report showing that less than two ounces could destroy a city's water supply. And what we're talking about here is 6,000 gallons of this highly toxic nuclear waste being shipped by the Department of Energy on our roadways. This is spent nuclear fuel. It is a target residue material containing a highly enriched nitrate, which, after being processed, can be used as fuel. They want to do this processing at a plant in South Carolina. They have spent years, they say, planning this transfer of waste from Canada's Chalk River Laboratories in Ontario to the Savannah River site, which is the processing facility in South Carolina. They're saying that it will be transported in at least 100 to 150 separate truck shipments over a period of about three years. They're saying that these will be encased in canisters normally used to transport solids that have been retrofitted to handle liquids. For security reasons, the DOE will not reveal the exact timing or routes of the shipments, but elected officials in states that it's likely to pass through are highly concerned about safety. Now, until earlier this month, they're saying that the transfer was held up by a lawsuit from environmental and nuclear safety groups, including the Sierra Club and Beyond Nuclear. They demanded an environmental impact statement. But here recently, a D.C. district court judge ruled that the plan had sufficient review and that all this was necessary. So they're now saying the shipments are expected to begin this spring. They're saying the DOE received $60 million to cover the cost of moving all this. But this is the issue that others are bringing up. They're saying if a solid was dumped on the, in a river, that they could go in and retrieve that solid with minimal damage to the surrounding environment. Some could argue against that, depending on the degree of what was let loose. But what they're saying is when it comes to liquid... It's irretrievable once it hits that water. And the two ounces could destroy a whole city's water supply. And with this information floating out there for the next three years, these trucks making these trips from Canada down into the East Coast, they could very potentially cause a big disaster. You can never say it won't happen. You have to keep your eyes peeled to it happening. All the times they say the pipeline won't break. How many pipelines have broke? Accidents happen. And if there's a big pile up or something and one of these uh, trucks are involved or someone targets one of these vehicles, it, it could be bad. So they have a right to be concerned and it is an issue. And the bad thing at this point is we don't have a defined route. All we can really do is kind of pull up a map quest and I'm going to pull up the maps and kind of study them further from here and look at this facility in Ontario. Look at where they're going in South Carolina. See what the quickest route is and which routes they would probably take and what states they're going to most likely pass through. Then we'll know what areas to really be on alert in. And then people in those areas, if you see any of these vehicles on the move, well... At least you'll know what route they're on and that they're in motion. But I expect them to be highly guarded, not just the truck moving itself. I mean, they do, they do move nuclear weapons on highways and everything else, but once again, they don't talk about the timing. Uh, I covered an object that was looked like maybe a new stealth bomber, drone, or something like that. It almost looked like a UFO on wheels. Here recently being moved out of the mountains of West Virginia, headed toward New Mexico. That was an example of them moving, you know, stuff on flatbed there on the highways. And they do it all the time. But in this instance, once again, you're talking about nuclear waste. We've seen so many accidents and incidents that I just want people to be aware that this is about to commence. Beginning any time now, they're saying spring, so... I'll continue to update on this story with more information as I come across it. And I'll leave a link in the description with more info here. 
And until next time, this has been Dabu7. Peace.